and welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Today we've got a really quick and easy one. As a matter of fact, it only involves two layers. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, a customer wrote in and asked, could he put text that looked realistically on a page, you know, following the contour of the book? And I said, sure, we can do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you need to do is if you don't happen to have a font that's in handwritten font, go ahead and go to dafont.com, okay? And they have a lot of free fonts here that you can just download. And just select handwritten font from the script, and then just go ahead and pick whatever handwritten font suits your fancy, okay? Nice resource, dafont. Used them for years. All right. So now that I have my font, I'm going to put some text in and I'm going to approximately drag it out to the size of the page. It's approximate. Okay. So I need to get some actual text. So I think I'll steal some text from this novel here. paste it in okay so now I have my text and of course it doesn't fit it doesn't align and so we need to distort it warp it change its perspective uh, all those good things and then uh, get it to fit on the page believably so in order to do this the first thing I need to do is I need to rasterize this graphic. So I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to rasterize type. Okay. Because we have more flexibility when now it's no longer uh, type fonts. You notice it's just like a graphic now. Now we have ultimate flexibility in what we're doing and shaping and so forth. So command T and we can rotate and when I'm rotating it I'm trying to line it up on the left side of the book okay just so I have that as my my reference point okay the next thing is I need to uh, position and I'm gonna go to distort and now I'm going to start distorting the book, pulling the corners until I'm getting approximately the look that I'm looking for. And again, you're just using taste here. Okay. And so now that I have it distorted to approximately to the paper. I'm going to right click again and this time I'm going to select warp. And now I have a, a bunch of grid points around. Anywhere that I click and move I can raise and lower the graphic. So I'm going to click and raise to put a slight curve and you can see that I'm putting the curve on the paper and making it believable. And again, just work it in, take your time, make sure it's believable. And then that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have my handwritten text. That's approximately the, the contour of the curled page. But we're not done yet because it, it still looks fake, okay? Uh, one of the things you can see, it's just too sharp. It's too dark. Uh, just not believable. So in order for us to do this, the first thing is we're going to do is we're going to blur it. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And what I want to do is give it to where the ink 
looks like it's actually going into the page. See, we start in here, and I want that where the, the pencil is, you know, a little bit blurry. And this is, again, to taste. And I'm just watching the graphic there, and I'm going to say that looks pretty good right there. And so now we've blurred it. And now we have to do a little creativity, okay? Uh, you know, when you write with pencil or pen or anything, uh, necessarily your pressure is not accurate 100% of the time. Uh, as you move your hand across the paper, some letters may be a little darker, a little lighter than the other. Uh, so we need to simulate that to make it believable. So we're going to select the paintbrush, and with uh, black, we're going to open up a layer mask on this layer. And painting in black, okay, with a very small brush, we are going to, with a very low flow, start dotting, just dabbing and clicking. And you'll notice that I'm just changing the pressure of the pen okay just randomly dotting to make the believability okay so now if I if you turn around and watch the paper okay and concentrate the paper I'm going to turn this uh, mask on and off and you'll see that what a difference it makes so to disable the mask there it is with okay so now that we've dabbed that uh, we can see we've got a very good effect but we have one more thing to do before we do this close it looks like it's written in ink and our collage here has a lead pencil floating on the dog so it doesn't look believable if it was it would be written in pencil luckily to make the effect of pencil easy just change the opacity of the layer okay drop it down and now you can see we have realistic pencil on the paper and that's all there is to actually putting realistic text on an image Hopefully you found this useful. You guys take care. I'll talk to you next week.